Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of The Weekly Word, episode 2. What's The Weekly Word? Uh, the Weekly Word is where we sit down and discuss everything that's going on uh, this week in terms of comics, manga, anime, video games. Yeah, but what's the word of the week? Uh, the word of the week is... Uh... <laughs> Never mind. Sh- shapoopy. That's not a word. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Alright, poppycock. We'll take it. Alright. A <laughs> um, couple cool things this week that I've seen at least. Um, they announced... Uh, Battlefield Hardline. Yeah, let's talk about some some games, some E3, some yeah. announcements. E3 so, right around the corner. Announcements are coming out of the woodwork. It's it's time. I was worried at first when I heard Battlefield Hardline because I was like, yo, you literally just came out with Battlefield 4. And it doesn't work. And it still has its problems. I mean, it's good, but I've gotten really tired of this. Yeah, it's a good game when it's not broken. Yes. But I've gotten really tired of this culture of every year come out with a new game and it's pretty much the same thing but it's kind of got a couple differences but you're going to buy it because it's the newest thing and everybody else is going to buy it and you want to be cool, right? So, uh, yeah, if you want to be competitive, you got yeah, to play the thing that people are playing yeah. and everyone's playing the thing that everyone else is playing, so fucking buy it. So, yeah, I was at first a little annoyed at uh, EA for that. And then I heard that uh, Hardline is actually going to be kind of like a cops and robbers Um type game from what i've seen there's not much information out on it they're gonna uh announce and show it off at e3 on yeah. june 9 to 12. sounded so, like maybe a payday, payday using the frostbite engine and maybe some more battlefield tech so i'm I hoping know, that it's using the whatever. frostbite engine i'm not 100 percent sure because visceral games is doing it and if you don't yes, know sir. visceral games did dead space 3. okay or the dead space series yeah. um yeah so visceral is known for third person shooters so I'm a little worried about that because, like, SOCOM, um, what was it, SOCOM 4, the last one, it was done by a team that mostly did uh, single-player stories, and the multiplayer ended up being crap. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm not going to try to judge it without seeing any real content. Um, but yeah. uh, it's nice that they're doing something new. What are the games do we have news for? Uh, Evolve. Yeah. Well, Coming out of uh, Turtle Rock Studios, the yeah. Left for Dead folks. And I cannot wait for this game because, yeah, you know what? There's been a lot of first-person shooters, but it's always like, I'm going to do everything by myself. I'm Rambo. Bro, watch me get go 25 and oh, and get a nuke. This game is designed around straight-up teamwork. and uh, Very similar to Left for Dead yeah. in the multiplayer context. So it's a asynchronous, like, four versus one shooter where four people are a team everyone gets a class you know you don't get to all pick the same class there has to be one of each and you have to rely on each other using that class correctly which is everything i've heard about that game is that you need to play your class if you're gonna do anything in that game about it originally they showed off four characters and i kind of thought that they were only going to have those four characters they have four classes, but they also have different characters for those classes that have different abilities. So, um, I think one of the hunters is actually a robot, and he can throw out like these like floating turrets that shoot at the monster and stuff like that. He Again. also detaches head to scout ahead and tell the rest of the team where the monster is. So I saw two variants on the medic: one that yeah. focuses on healing, healing one that focuses one focus on, on like, like a resurrection. Burst and resurrection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's really cool because certain people have. Yeah, like different styles of play and maybe i want to run on just like resurrect everyone and snipe in the uh background maybe i want to run around and just make sure everyone has health cons- uh constantly so that we don't yeah, have if you to want worry to play about a little more dying. passive yeah you can if you want to play a little more aggressive you can you can still play within your class and keep your kind of stuff that sounds cool yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm definitely going to be on that and the monster looks awesome they've only showed off the um was it the, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there were more monsters than no, just they, the one they, that they're showing off. They're definitely going to have more. Uh, just just to they're, they're probably going to show it off at E3. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the game looks amazing. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hyped for it. I'm not real good at shooters, but I'll play it anyway. And, um, you know, I'm actually getting really excited for this generation because I've seen a lot more uh, like team-based games coming out. Uh, Battle Cry is another one that just got announced. I believe it's Bethesda. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Battle Cry just got announced. Um, 
and that looks awesome and looks uh yeah it is bethesda i'm sorry uh yeah it it looks like um team yeah. fortress but like updated and different classes but with swords which looks that's actually how they describe it and said the team fortress with swords so i am hyped for that game there's a trailer out if you uh go to i think it's battle cry the game Com. Um, check that trailer out. It shows off some of the classes. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, um, other any other games? Oh, uh, Watch Dogs. I actually played Watch Dogs. Mm. I still stand by my initial opinion of Aiden Pierce. He's a dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> like if you add, for anybody that's gonna be like, no, his blah 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 was taken from no. Uh, like everything that happens to him and the reason that like, everything plays out like this is because he's a hacker he was doing illegal shit and he was involved with the wrong people so he's a dick but the game's actually really fun um is it yeah this, feel like a next gen game or does it feel like another gta that's the only thing that we're only area for uh it falls short i think because it came out on xbox 360 and ps3 the graphics aren't as intense as i would have hoped they were going to be it still looks great on the xbox one but I don't know, there's parts I'm playing and I'm like, eh. Well, even graphics aside, like gameplay, does it feel like something that you couldn't do on a no. previous gen system? No. no from yeah. what I've seen so far, I mean, I haven't beaten the game, so I haven't got to see everything. The online multiplayer is the only thing that I can maybe see Xbox 360 and PS3 having a little bit of difficulty with with servers or whatnot, because people kind of just like seamlessly jump into your game. But, I mean, overall, it doesn't seem like crazy crazy intense and like too much for the xbox uh yeah. 360 or ps3 to handle but i'm enjoying it and if you are looking for a game to play on your xbox one or ps4 pick up watch those it's actually really cool straight up yeah and heaven knows we can use games to play on those systems they yeah don't have a lot yet uh, yeah, and the multiplayer i was worried about and the modes they have are actually really fun uh i was worried it's going to be too much like assassin's creed and i thought that the, the assassin's creed multiplayer was too imbalanced and it wasn't fun if people loved love to i it was just why play it. and um they've done a good job of making sure you can match up with people on your skill level and it's got different modes that are fun to do i just check it out it's worth it last thing i'm really looking forward to seeing uh for me three is news about what they're calling project beast have right. you read anything about that not yet so right now um a name and maybe a dozen screenshots or so leaked out it's by the same team that did uh demon souls and dark souls not dark souls 2 okay and it looks basically like a you know undead old western demon souls damn with shotguns ether is gonna be awesome so yeah right now i don't know shit about that game other than it looks like something that's right up my alley so excited definitely gonna have to yeah check that out um destiny has another character that was announced uh the hunter honestly i liked the warlock originally and i thought that was going to be my class but i think that i'm gonna go hunter he has some dope powers yo he can move and you know i haven't been keeping in touch with any of the news in that game i think i'm gonna keep it that way and just, just get in yeah just, just, yeah, just bathe in it, it. <laughs> it was so good. i was gonna do that originally and then i read an article on game informer and i was just like oh fucking i just need to like get a fix every once in a while just a little bit just i, I promise <laughs> that's it uh, um let's see outside of e3 and games and whatnot we both saw x-men this week yes and i really enjoyed it um yeah same i mean if you're one of those comic book fans that go into movies like i want her to be exactly or same like you're gonna hate it i'm right right from the start because yeah. in the comic book kitty gets sent back and it's not wolverine in the, in the movie it's wolverine so just don't even bother oh. seeing it because you're gonna have a bad time that, as a concession that you have to make if you're gonna see that it is a movie ass x yeah. movie like it is starring wolverine because he's the big yeah, guy everyone loves wolverine it is wrapped up in 90 minutes and with a little bow on top yep you know there's not a lot of complication that spreads out i feel like they did a good job of telling a story but really they were showing off characters yeah if, if and if, in my opinion i think they introduced a lot of new character well, not a lot but they introduced some new characters i mean you're not wrong but they also made it seem like it progressed no, as, no, as no, opposed to just a parade no i i 100 percent agree with that uh and uh they progressed very well but i kind of felt like 
the the characters and their individual moments really made it for me. Like there were just little things here and there that I was just like, ah, <laughs> just yeah. like especially the like the dark future stuff. Yeah, showing off all of the all the dudes that we hadn't seen before, like the Warpath Bishop and, and Sunspot, Bishop, fucking Blink. Yeah, I was so excited to see her in there, and I didn't expect to do like like. And they, the powers were awesome. Everything yeah. just played out really well. No, Gambit and the Externals was my jam from the Age of Apocalypse. That's where oh, Blink's right. from. So, <sighs> they, and they did Not a great job with... Like, talking I feel like, about any more of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go <laughs> see it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I enjoyed it. I yeah, read enjoyed if, it. If you like the previous X-Men movies, three notwithstanding, yeah. then... You probably enjoy this one. I actually liked it better than First Class. I thought First Class was fine. I know everyone else thought it was I liked, the jam. I liked First Class. Yeah, the Abby and John fucking love for First Class too. I, I so I don't know. I'm not the biggest X Men fan, but I do like when uh, movies stay true to the comics to an extent. And there's a lot of yeah, like there's leeway spiritually true. Yeah, there's leeway for these yeah. movies because they need to make them appealing to everyone, not just comic book fans. So you got to go in there with that mentality, and if you do, I think you'll really enjoy uh, X Men. Yeah, like comic wise, there was never anything between you know Charles and Mystique. Charles, get out of my head! Get Charles! out of my head, Charles! <laughs> I said that in a movie at one point too. Uh, oh, Mystique says that. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was like, oh, <laughs> get out of my head, Charles! <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was. A lot of little things like that that um, really did it for Wolverine me. Wolverine walking through the metal detector and just kind of... Yeah, like looking and it's like, oh. Uh, yeah. But uh, let's not spoil anything for anybody. It's fine. It's um, fine. Yeah. If you, if you think you enjoy those movies, you'll probably really enjoy that movie. Uh, staying on comics, uh, I actually started reading um, Forever Evil. Uh, it's a DC comic. It's kind of the Justice League kind of wrap-up thing. It's actually focused more around Lex and a lot of villains uh, and mm-hmm. less about um, Batman, Superman, and all them. Um, like, Ultraman pretty much kind of is, like, taking over the world. And a lot of the villains are like, you know what? I don't like that. I don't want to stop you. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, and I haven't even gotten too far into it. Uh, they did finish up the storyline so if you're one of those people that kind of likes to read something in their entirety instead of having to wait uh check out forever evil um what i've heard about it has been amazing and what oh, i've were read coming out with trade paperbacks of that yeah nice and now everything's out so i just i was like oh i mean that's great <laughs> i like that read it one. um oh uh book i checked out the first trade of just recently that i hadn't heard of before was uh called rat queens um, yeah, it's not really a superhero kind of thing. It's set in actually really typical like you know RPG times, you know the, the kind of fantasy tropes, and it's about you know this adventuring crew of women, and it's written really well. Hmm. The women are actually like, like both convincing and you know just compelling, nice. like cool characters, and that's kind of what it seems like the book is going to be about just these really cool kind of character driven stories and it's really violent <laughs> rat queen rat queens rat queens yep okay, that's, okay, that's okay, the name okay. of their guild there's also a guild called the four daves and, all right, I think they're all four okay. daves yep i think i have to check that out now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, it's a little off the beaten path as far as comics go but if you're looking for something fresh give it a shot i mean it's 10 bucks yeah Yep. The Mario Kart comes out um, tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Why does everyone on the East Coast call it Mario? Because that's how we talk. Mario. Yeah, how... but the game says Super Mario. Mario, yeah. Mario. 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 <laughs> Mario. Mario. Get out. Mario. Am I saying it wrong? Mario. That's how it's said. Mario? Mario. Mario. <laughs> I can't. I can't say it like you say it. <laughs> the, the long game. Mario. I'm Mario. I'm just gonna say Mario. I'll leave it at that because I can't. I don't. It's me, Mario. Mario, yo. <laughs> it's an East Coast. I don't need thing. to take this. That's... I don't need to take this. <laughs> I'm on your coast, man. Yeah, you don't um, need to take this. Uh, yeah. So Mario Kart is coming out um, on Friday. 
Uh, if you haven't had a chance to play it, go to your local GameStop and check out their Wii U Interactive and play it. It's actually really good. Uh, there's a lot of cool game modes. I was watching a stream of uh, some of the guys on IGN play it, and um, I mean the gameplay looks good. Uh, the game, I when I've actually played it, it felt good. Uh, I need a friend that has a Wii U. <laughs> can I just say that it's goddamn 2014 and Nintendo can start releasing demos that you can download? Yeah, yeah I know. They, they're right. doing the kiosk for Mario Kart. They're doing the kiosk for uh, Smash Super Bros. Smash Bros. I know. Like, just let us download it. Like, we will buy the game. Uh, the internet's you... not that scary. I know. Just get over just... it, Nintendo. Exactly. <laughs> get past it. Um, Worse than my dad. Yeah, so... That's out on Friday. Um, if you have a Wii U, pick it up. If you don't have a Wii U, tell your friends to pick it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, that's You're not wrong. You say. Uh, I'm actually interested to see what Nintendo... Yeah, tell them they buy the game, you buy the pizza. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's a solid deal. Um, I'm interested to see what Nintendo's going to come out with at E3. I've heard uh, a couple rumors here and there, um, but nothing All super I've compelling. All I've seen is the Zelda Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, which... Hyrule Warriors. I mean, it looks. Co- I love Dynasty Warriors, and I've always been a Zelda fan. So I mean, it looks cool. But once again, I'm gonna need to find a friend that has a Wii U. Or if you guys want to uh, buy us a Wii U so we can play these games and then review them for you, you feel free. Um, In which case, why wouldn't you just buy the Wii U for yourself and play it for yourself? Because then I would have to pay for it. And then make some. They can make videos for you. Send John your game review videos. Okay, do that. Reply, reply below. At NarutoFan670 <laughs> at gmail.com. Oh, that's right. We do have an email. Yeah, we do. At gmail.com. Um, but yeah, that's all I got, really. Yeah. I... That's about it. All right, we'll see you guys. Um, <laughs> I was gonna wait wait until we got a full twenty, just to save it for three minutes oh. of silence. Yeah, I'm not. No, it's done. Uh, that much. Patience. We're at. We'll see you guys. Uh, thanks for putting up with us, guys. Next week for the weekly word. Shit, poopies. <laughs> it's not a word.